Hello there. My name is Wendy Briggs, and if you're watching this thing, uh, you're probably here to get into the summer online general biology course. I'm recording this video to welcome you to the class, but before I welcome you and tell you how excited I am for you to take this class with me this summer, I want to try to convince you to drop this class. And let me give it to you straight. I'm asking you to drop this class not because I think it's lame or I don't want to teach it or um, something else. <laughs> I'm asking you to drop this class because it's really hard. And uh, I think there is a general misconception in the world of education amongst students that online classes are usually easier than face-to-face -face classes. So um, I want to uh, assure you that this online general biology course with a laboratory component um, is not easier than the face-to-face -face course. Um, in fact, because you do not have access to uh, peers, like in real time, sitting next to you doing the work or talking about the content, or me in real time sitting next to you as you do the work or work through the content, um, your, the load on you is higher than it would be in a face-to-face -face course. We're offering two sections of general bio right now. There are spots available. So if you have any hesitation about the workload associated with biology in general, um, I don't know that I recommend uh, doing the online scene. Let me just uh, make my case a little bit stronger. Um, we've been teaching this class. Um, this is going to be our third time running this class. And I want to give you some numbers. And I'm giving you these numbers as sort of a, I don't know, shall we say, wake-up call, because I ain't messing around, dogs. When we first offered the course um, over a year ago, we started out with 34 students enrolled. We, at census, with our first group of students, at census, so this isn't even before we've had an exam, we had 18 at census. Um, at exam number one, dude, seriously? Oh, no, 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 no. We had 22. <clears throat> 22 at census. At exam one, we had 18. At exam two, we had 15. At exam three, we had 13. At exam 4, we had 11. And 11 took the final exam, and 11 passed the class. Okay. Um, that is, from a teacher perspective, like horrible. <laughs> and so we uh, made a few adjustments the following semester. We added an epic peer leader. And you are super stoked because we have Caesar, who was our epic peer leader in fall 17. He's also going to be um, doing uh, our summer se session. And I am absolutely convinced that Caesar's role in the class, offering support and study sessions and answering questions, I'm very convinced that he's partially responsible for this change in numbers. Um, at the start of the class in fall 17, we again started with 34. I actually have 34 humans enrolled in the class right now. I have another eight on the wait list and more like begging me to um, let them in. So this class, like we've got, we've got our 34 to start with already. Um, we'll see. I'm going to hope that some of you go, ah, online, not for me. Um, and we probably won't keep our 34. But in fall 17 with Caesar, we had 34 start. At census, we had 26. At exam number one, we had 26. At exam number two, we had 26. At exam number three, we had 25, and we kept our 25 the whole time, and we had 23 pass. Dude, seriously? Um, one of the biggest things that changed is that I did this video for that group. And so there wasn't any confusion about um, how difficult the course was going to be. 
Um, and again, I said it already, but dude, adding Caesar into the mix um, was huge. So heart to heart, I want <laughs> summer version. We haven't done it in the summer yet. Let me throw this at you. Both these uh, sessions were 16 weeks. Summer, we're doing the whole thing in eight weeks. And I'm telling you right now, I asked previous students, I think in the fall 17 group, I'm like, dudes, what do you think? Should I do this in the summer? And they're like, <laughs> no. <laughs> like they were totally having trauma around the idea of doing the work in eight weeks. This is another reason to really look at your life. Um, it, for eight weeks, like you really are going to be living the class. And let me just show you, um, this is the calendar that I've set up. And I'm pretty sure that this is my, up, yeah, it is my updated version. Um, everything that's colored, every colored day <laughs> is um, you have something due in Canvas. Now look at this. Dudes, Saturday, something is due in Canvas. Sunday, something's due in Canvas. We're doing things in Canvas every single day. Things are due in Canvas every single day. I went through the schedule of all the things that we have to get done in order to ensure that this course is equivalent to our face-to-face -face courses during the regular semester and our online course during the regular semester. So we have to fit all this stuff in here. Um, I could have combined days to make it look like there were free days, and I decided not to do that because I don't want you to be misled. Like, even if there is a free day, which if you look um, during week three, I gave you a bonus study day, like Merry Christmas, that's a gift. Um, those things, like, look, there's three, and in fact, that might be it. Oh, no, we have a holiday. That's awesome, but that's it. There are three days <laughs> where there is not, three days in a holiday where there is not something due in this class. Um, things that are due are mostly discussion boards. Your labs, every time you have a lab, you have to do a lab write-up in a lab notebook. I'm going to explain that in a second. Um, every lecture, you have to participate in a discussion forum. Um, and then every week, we've got quizzes. You're going to have to record your own videos. I'm telling you, um, you can do things early. So if you wanted to do lab five on the day that you take exam one, like, awesome, that's great. Like, move things around so that you can structure your life. But um, let me just show you what I did with my little calendar. I printed out my version of this calendar, and I have all my notes on there of, like, these are the things that I have to do on these days. Um, I tried to make that for you in this uh, <laughs> schedule so that you could see everything that must get done. but. The whole point of this is to tell you this class is not for the weak at heart. And it's not for the strong at heart if you don't have time in your life to dedicate to it. I know how motivated a lot of you are, and I am, like, blown away inspired by the humans who take on this challenge and do really well um, and make it through. So I'm confident that it can be done. But uh, make sure that you are thinking about that before you do it. If you have any questions or specific, you want me to weigh in on your specific situation, give me a holla holla, and I will absolutely um, happily let you know if I think that your situation is doable. And like I said, right now there's a bunch of spots available in the face-to-face -face class. Dude, take it. It's the exact same class uh, without um, uh, the online <laughs> piece of it. All right, if you're in, I'm going to record a whole bunch more stuff explaining what up.